Imagine having your electric bill hiked by over 500% almost overnight. It's more than tragic when it happens to anyone, but when you are a small business owner toiling day and night to stay open after multiple rounds of global lockdowns, you see no other option but to fold and lay off your employees. With that, another small business bites the dust. This might have been far-fetched last year or even two years ago, but it is now the reality for small business owners in the United Kingdom. For the past weeks, local newspapers and social media users have been sharing sad stories of small, family-run businesses finally throwing in the towel. Here is one of such posts from Callum McKeefery, the CEO of Reviews.io, a platform that helps businesses collect customer reviews. McKeefery's tweet reads, My mom owns a small cafe in Leicester. Her electricity bill has just jumped from £10,000 or $12,000 per year to £55,000 or $64,000 a year. She is working out her options, but more than likely she will be forced to close. Imagine the resources that had gone into growing this business. Everything will now go down the drain while employees will be forced to seek employment elsewhere. So far, the tweet has gotten over 67,000 likes and more than 18,000 comments, most of which are from other small business owners faced with the same difficult decisions or others narrating how various small businesses around them are folding because of the unbearable energy prices. In the replies, another small business owner with the handle, Premier Seafoods, notes that their energy bill has now jumped from £21,000 to £91,000. Another reply from Ben Smith 77 notes that his wife's cafe is about to close up, which would put 17 people out of business. The cafe's energy bill went from 5,000 to 32,000 pounds. The quotes are also filled with distressing stories of tea rooms, cafes, and pubs about to be closed or already out of business because of the hike in electricity prices. And it's the same story in every village, town, and city in the United Kingdom. At this rate, thousands of small family-run businesses will bite the dust, leaving tens of thousands of workers without sustenance just when the country is battling a double-digit inflation and possibly even in the middle of a recession, according to the British Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for joining us on today's video on Savvy Economists. In this video, we take a crucial look at the ongoing energy crisis in the United Kingdom and how it is squeezing out tens of thousands of small businesses. Please watch, like, and share this video. We also love to hear from our viewers and subscribers, so ensure you drop your comments and observations below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Let's dive right in. Small businesses across the United Kingdom are folding because of the insane hikes in their energy bills, with most businesses having to cough up over 500% of their previous energy bills. Local newspapers report that the energy crisis is tearing through Britain's high streets and hitting small businesses from cafes to restaurants, pubs, salons, and shops. According to data published by the Federation of Small Business, 53% of these sole proprietorships and family-owned businesses are expected to stagnate, shrink, or fold in the coming 12 months. Though there is an energy price cap for households, nothing protects companies, especially small businesses that are yet to completely recover from the lockdowns. According to reports, these smaller traders employ around 16 million people, a large percent of which now face unemployment. A labor analysis showed that there were a record 20,200 fewer businesses between April and June, the largest loss of businesses ever recorded in the second quarter of the year. Both new and old businesses are being hit by the gloomy economic situation. Last month, Royal Crown Takeaway, an Aberdeen Chinese takeaway, had to close its shop after being opened for four decades. According to Natalie Wood, who posted the story on Twitter, the restaurant's electric bill jumped from £900 to over 10000 Royal Crown closed its doors forever on August 14th. On the same day, the heartbroken employee tweeted, It's an exceedingly sad Sunday as we prepare to lock the doors for the final time tonight. We are one of the first local businesses in Aberdeen to be forced to close. We won't be the last. Something needs to be done. A day before Royal Crown closed its shop, customers of Ainsley Farm Shop at Kirk Hammerton, New York, were told that the store could no longer stay open. In a Facebook post, Stuart and Lily, who have been running the business for 22 years, wrote, Some very sad news. We are very sorry to have to let everyone know that 22 years after opening our first farm shop and 17 years in our current premises, we are having to close Ainsley Farm Shop. We would like to thank everyone for all of their support over the years. It has been very much appreciated and great fun. We have loved serving you, listening to some fabulous stories, and generally getting to know our customers. They also noted that they are having difficulties because of the huge rise in electricity prices. This has simply come about because of the huge rise in electricity prices. 
As you probably all understand, running a butchery, bakery, and deli uses a lot of electricity and we can now no longer carry on. According to the post, which now has almost 200 heartfelt comments, the shop will stay open until September 30th, when its current electricity contract ends. Newer businesses are also feeling the pinch. According to Richard Stewart Brown, the owner of a tea room in Port Stewart, Northern Ireland, he is also closing up because of high energy bills. Stuart Brown has been running Molly Brown's Tea Room since 2018, but he suddenly received a $4,000 electricity bill for 10 weeks usage, double what he used to pay. The Tea Room will also close sometime this month. And it's not just in the United Kingdom. A similar thing is playing out in France, which is not surprising. Because barely a week ago, President Emmanuel Macron warned people to prepare for the end of abundance. Here is a tweet from Wall Street Silver showing the severity of the energy crisis. The price of electricity in France has reached 1,075 euros per megawatt hour. By comparison, between 2010 and 2020, the average price per megawatt hour was 45 euros, 24 times higher than the average. Many social media users are noting that all these are coming at a convenient time with the World Economic Forum and several global leaders so completely fixated on the Great Reset. Some have even suggested that this is a deliberate and concerted effort to make people completely indebted and reliant on the government. What do you think? Is this the beginning of the Great Reset? Are we about to lose everything and definitely not be happy? Please drop your comments and observations in the comments section below. Also, ensure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.